Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rohini Ruhil. Today we will discuss about the theory of epidemiological transition. The theory of epidemiological transition was given by Abdel R. Omran in 1971. As the name suggests, it is something about transition. Transition from what to what? So basically there were three kinds of transition. The transition of diseases, the demographic transition, and the transition in technology, modernization and urbanization. As we discussed in our previous video, that as we proceeded with industrialization, urbanization, development, the kind of diseases people suffer from, the kind of health problems people suffer from, that underwent a transition. So epidemiological transition is a complex change in patterns of health and disease, interaction between these patterns and their determinants. The kind of diseases also changed from pre-modern to modern times and also their determinants, the, co the causes of those diseases also changed. The risk factors also underwent a change. Degenerative and man-made diseases displaced pandemics of infection as the primary cause of morbidity and mortality. In pre-modern times, populations usually suffered from pandemics, infections, infectious diseases, and main determinants were sanitary conditions, environmental conditions, hygienic conditions. And during the modern times, populations mostly suffer from degenerative and man-made diseases, chronic diseases, lifestyle diseases, and their determinants also changed to lifestyle factors, sedentary lifestyle, stress, tobacco, alcohol, etc. Now, uh, this epidemiological transition in the pattern of the diseases and their determinants, this paralleled with the demographic, uh, demographic transition. Demographic transition was also happening at the same time where first we saw the demographic momentum where we had high fertility and high mortality preceded by high fertility and low mortality and then we saw demographic dividend and finally low fertility and low mortality and we saw uh, inverted pyramid. So this epidemiological transition it paralleled with the demographic transition and the technological transition. Now, Omran in 1971 gave three stages of epidemiological transition. The age of pestilence and famine. The age of pestilence and famine where mortality was high. Life expectancy was very low between 20 to 40 years. This was proceeded with the age of receding pandemics. When the pandemic started receding, the mortality declined life expectancy improved to 30 to 50 years. And then it proceeded with the age of degenerative and man-made diseases where mortality continued to decline. It became stable at relatively low levels and life expectancy improved to more than 50 years. Now to start with the age of pestilence and famine. This was the pre-modern time where pre-modern pattern of health and diseases were, uh, were there, major determinants of deaths were epidemics, famines, wars and this, these are called positive, these were called positive checks by Malthusian as, as, as proposed by Malthusian in his theory of population explosion. And a very famous uh, study of John Grant uh, a landmark study in epidemiology regarding the London spill of mortality. And this study showed that uh, during the time of 1930s in London, three-fourths of all deaths were attributed to infectious diseases, malnutrition, maternity complications. And cardiovascular diseases, cancers, they were these chronic diseases, they were responsible for less than 6% of deaths during 1930s in London. 
So this was the age of pestilence and famine. This is the chart um, as composed by John Grant in uh, London. And this is the London Bills of Mortality. Here you can see that uh, the topmost causes of mortality uh, were consumption, conversion, fears of all sorts, smallpox. Smallpox was a major cause of mortality during those times. Stillbirth, asthma, inflammation, measles. So, uh, majority of the topmost causes were infectious diseases or infections. And very few deaths were caused by cancer. As you can see on number 21, uh, that only uh, uh, 20, 22 deaths were caused by cancer. And uh, similarly, very few deaths by uh, respiratory disease, uh, very sorry, very few deaths by cardiovascular diseases. So this was the London Mills of Mortality, which showed that during pre-modern times, during 19th century uh, in Western world, the major cause of mortality was infectious diseases. This was the age of pestilence and famine. Then uh, after World War I, the decline of infectious diseases was seen and simultaneously a rise of degenerative diseases became more distinct. And since 1945, there was a major increase in cardiovascular deaths. Now, this was the epidemiological transition. But this transition was not uniform throughout the world or homogeneous. Like various parts of the world undergo, underwent this uh, transition in different ways. So Omran proposed three models of epidemiologic transition. The classic Western model, the accelerated epidemiological transition model and the contemporary or delayed epidemiologic transition model. Now the classic or the Western model, this model applies to Western European societies. They underwent gradual progressive transition from high mortality, high fertility to low mortality, low fertility. And the major determinant uh, in the Western world were socioeconomic factors, the sanitary revolution of 19th century. They were the primary determinant. Then the accelerated epidemiological transition applied to countries which underwent a uh, slow process of modernization, for example, Japan. And they underwent a period of transition that was accelerated and here the uh, major determinants were both sanitary and social conditions as well as medical advances or public health measures. Then the contemporary or delayed epidemiologic transition model. This is relatively recent. Uh, uh, this applies to developing countries where the transition is relatively recent or yet to be completed. So this applies to developing countries. And in developing countries, as there was a delayed transition, the major determinants were public health measures the internationally sponsored medical package, medical measures, these were the major determinants. So this included countries in Latin America, Africa, and Asia. Now I once again go back to the stages as given by Omran, the age of pestilence and famine, the age of preceding pandemics, the age of degenerative and man-made diseases. These were the three stages proposed by Omran. Now, some scholars proposed a fourth stage. Scholars like Olshansky and Alt in 1986 proposed a fourth stage, the age of delayed degenerative diseases, where the onset of chronic diseases gets delayed. Perhaps, uh, um, in 70s or 80s and the life expectancy uh, goes beyond the eighth decade and this is a kind of uh, a future stage also labeled as a um, age of the conquest of the extent of life 
So here some scholar proposed a, a future stage, a fourth stage. Uh, the theory of epidemiological transition as proposed by Omran, it had certain limitations. There were some critics of this theory. First crit critic was that unquestioned changes with regard to nutrition, poverty and income inequalities. Like as a determinant, it told about uh, social, uh, social measures, socioeconomic factors, um, the medical factors, public health measures, uh, the Um, the hygiene factors, but uh, it uh, it uh, didn't talk about poverty and the income inequalities. Now, second critic was that transition came with social stratification. Like um, this theory gave three models. One applied to Western countries, developed world. One applied to like Japan-like countries which underwent slow process of modernization and the third model applied to developing countries. And it was a sort of homogeneous within that country. But in reality, uh, the countries, uh, they have social stratification where the richest quintile and the poorest quintile does not underwent the same kind of transition. And the research by researchers like Huelan in 2002, it has shown that people in the poorest quintile suffer consistently higher mortality in all three major categories of diseases. So this theory did not address the factor of social stratification. Then third critic was relative contribution of various causes. That is, for example, risk of dying from infectious diseases decreased from pre-modern to modern times. But it might be possible that the risk of dying from cardiovascular diseases was same in pre-modern times and modern times. But since the, uh, the, infect, the proportion of the infectious diseases got reduced, it appears as if the proportion of cardiovascular diseases increased but the actual risk may remain the same. Now, fourth critic was the focus on the mortality and life expectancy. Like it, it talked about mortality and life expectancy and, and took only mortality and life expectancy as indicators to measure health. And there was insufficient attention to disability and the quality of life. Now, some scholars like Frank et al. in 1989, they proposed uh, the theory of protracted transition uh, and the theory of epidemiological polarization. Now, what is this? What is protracted transition? Sometimes only certain sectors of the population uh, gets affected. For example, only children, mothers, poor, informed people, they get affected. So this coexistence has been called protracted epidemiological transition. Similarly, epidemiological polarization, the polarization where the richer sections suffer from modern health diseases, chronic diseases, and the poorer sections suffer from infectious or nutritional disorders. So this was the theory of protracted transition or epidemiological polarization to um, overcome some of the limitations of the theory proposed by Omran. So uh, we talked about uh, the theory of epidemiological transition as proposed by Abdel R. Omran in 1971. The three stages of transition, the age of pestilence and famines, uh, then age of receding pandemics, and then the age of man-made degenerative diseases. And then we studied that some scholars proposed a 
fourth stage, the age of delayed degenerative diseases. And then we discussed about the limitations, the critics of the theory and the theory of protracted epidemiology or the epidemiological polarization. So thank you very much for listening. Kindly like and subscribe to the channel. You may also write to me at the given email address. Thank you very much.